So this particular oil pan here that we're using utilizes a, uh, a oil pan baffle of its own. Okay. And uh, what it's doing is, because it's such a deep pan, it wants to minim mitigate that windage as well. Right. So what it does is it fits in there and uh, we can bolt it into place. And you'll notice this, uh, this void here is to so that it accepts the uh, oil pump pickup because the pickup tube actually will rest maybe three eighths of an inch off of the bottom of that oil pan. So now we're just taking it to the final torque spec of 106 inch pounds. And then again, we're just gonna dot all the bolts to let everyone know that we have torqued these to spec. Okay, so now that the oil pan's ready and the engine is ready for us to accept the oil pan, go ahead and pour our gasket out and bring it over. And what I like to do, especially when I'm working with different variations of oil pans with different engine combinations, I like to set the gasket on there and do a, do a dry mock-up run and make sure that everything is going to clear right and that it fits right. What you can run into is sometimes maybe you have the wrong pickup tube on the wrong oil pan and you don't realize it until right now. Or uh, let's say that you feel that now your uh, front cover and rear cover are not quite aligned just right. You would see that now. And so it's just nice, good measure to just double check everything. Place it on there. If it looks good, bolt holes are lining up, you know everything's gonna work out. So you can go ahead and pull it off again. Remove the gasket. And now what we like to do is just extra insurance is take a little dab of silicone and we're just going to get the two mating areas where you have the, the pan rail where it meets the rear cover as well as where it meets the front cover. So these two gasket marks here. So now we can set our gasket. Line it up as good as we can. And we don't need to put silicone on the top sides because this gasket is that sealing surface, and we know the, the oil pan has a nice machine surface. So there's no mating marks is what I'm getting at. It's, there's no two points that are you know, changing. So we can now just set this down on there. A 12 point ARP fasteners. What I like to do is I'll, I'll get them down just until they touch, because you don't want to get it into a situation where you've torqued this back side down, but the front side's lifting up. So you want to evenly bring them down. I like to do this with a uh, speed handle wrench because it gives me a feel of that the threads are not going to be cross-threading or anything. If I feel like it's giving me any issues, I can back it off myself. If I was using a power tool, it would just cross-thread all those threads. Now I still haven't done these top two, or these back two yet, and they're just touching. They're not even quite snug yet. But what I want to do is ensure that this flat surface on the oil pan is the same as that flat surface on the back of the bell housing. The idea is that some engines that you're uh, installing these on, the bell housing will actually mate to here. If you, if you see these two bolt holes here, certain bell housings for certain transmissions will mate to the block and to the oil pan. So if those are misaligned by any way, you're going to have issues and it'll crack the oil pan. So I just take a straight edge ruler here like that. And as long as it's within reason like that, and it's pretty flush, and I can match that up just in this area, that means that we are true to that back of the block there. You're one of those guys who likes having gauges, and then you look at it and you go, Ooh. So now that we got all these snugged up, now we're just gonna do the final torque of 18 foot-pounds. So we're just gonna come in. We're a little far out, so I'll, I'll do another run of just snugging it up. Work fine, okay. Same thing here, we're just gonna go and uh, torque stripe them. 